Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. I work out. Girl, look at that body. Girl, look at that body. Fox United here with another commentary. It's Moles1999 and Devil's Wrath commentating on Warfoot versus Tiny Dragon. As the Tiny Dragon's using the Torp Scale, and as usual, is using SD or Faction. Uh, the early Kento, yeah, doesn't look good for Tiny. If he doesn't draw that, then, then Tiny could be in trouble. Although he's running the KF one, I, I always think with Torton's, the SL version is better than the KF version. Yeah. Because you've got Quicken, Quickening, DB. Um, Quicken. To this, by the way. He was playing KF SL a minute ago. <laughs> was he? Yeah, he must have been, because I... Right. Oh, he Quicken on one of those. Tortellium Pygmies, or whatever it's called. It's an insta kill, pretty much. Yeah. 35. Uh. Yep, yeah, and I mean, Tiny just needs to attack and he's getting 5 Nora per hit, you know? Uh, that mortar is probably the most dangerous torn, isn't it? Looking good, yeah. If you fuck up and leave AoE 2, you're going to be dead. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things you can't afford to leave AoE 2. Yeah, the Mystic you've got to kill because it's such a good champ. I mean, immune fire. Um, doesn't it have immune frost as well? Because he picked. Yeah, but Tiny the Red is uh, spell swallowing instead. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Spell swallowing is a good ability, but you can't probably have the best tools since it's so much of birth in the map. Yeah, I mean, imagine that with immune frost on it now. I mean, Tiny's getting so much Nora at this point just from attacking. I'm not 
sure why you left. Uh, oh, the Yeti's got stunning. Um, are any of these ones unstoppable? Yeah, the captain's unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, also, if you're playing Taunt and Slight Tiny, just, just remember to deploy before you attack. Nora, her tap. That's how you get rank one. Don't, don't count, I guess. Yeah, some of us are just naturally good at counting, you know. We don't even so your early game prediction of Warfoot having the game won is not looking uh, too good, really, is it? range champs in behind those chunky melee, you know. Yeah. Oh, I say chunky melee, the battle missed it. Kento's probably the only champ that will die. Right, well, he's targeted the threat. Probably on the martyr. So, if I was what, I'd attack the Howler. So that um, artillery strike hits the uh, Kento. Yeah, artillery strike is uh, also 80% um, of their damage. So, it's not like you're losing out on any damage, really. It's like, uh, that's only a one same as what it would have been to Kento anyway. Yeah, unfortunately Tiny didn't predict wow. <laughs> That was a big error really because the it would have done the same damage if it had hit the Crystal Howler. Uh-huh. It would have done the same damage that it would have done if it hit the Kento. Defense difference. Yeah. So Tiny um, is Warford making a comeback at all? Not really, no. Is there any way at all that he could? No, not really. 
It's got a Phoenix anklet on that Yeti. Um, the only trouble is with the unstoppable jumps. Purposely deployed the car south of Hill Oh, yeah, I didn't really, yeah, of course, the Corsairs can pilfer. Well, there's probably Yeti in range of a pilfer. <laughs> so that's fine. And of course, he's got the unstoppable captain with Scramble uh, to proc the, uh, whatchamacallit, in fact, even the range with that. Here he is. He's left it in range of the, the captain as well, with unstoppable. So, uh, not a very good move there by uh, Yeah, terrible. He left it in range of Pilfer and Scramble. Uh, so. But yeah, he's dead. Tiny's going to get the equipment. I'd say fourth will probably surrender. Yeah. Another couple of chance for Finale 2 there, so the going to do some damage. That's the thing, once Tauntons. Yeah, he's left them all bunched up again, hasn't he? Once Tauntons start to get on top of you, you can't really come back, can you? Also generate like 100 more a turn as well just by attacking. Yeah. Well, well, surprisingly, Tiny didn't. What's he doing? Um, what is he doing? Why didn't he Tiny needs to contact me for some pop buttons, I'm not sure. <laughs> well, that was terrible. Maybe he didn't, didn't notice it had been equipped and now he's just realised. I'm not sure quite what he's doing. Has he been drinking? <laughs> Warfoot's capping the top front with the glove. So Warfoot's not out of his yet due to tiny fast right now. <laughs> so... What is he so doing? It's just a typical game of, of walking out there, but both players play absolutely shit. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I just can't believe he did that. That's very unlike Tiny, isn't it? To, to miss a trick there. All he had to do was attack a few times. It was yeah. dumb, you know? Depends what Warfoot does this turn, really, because like you said, that stealing the top, well, not stealing it because the banner's there, but capping that bomb is um, a big plus. Yeah. So Captain Mystic, I'd say, now. But it's important for the Captain to die as well because it's, it's the unstoppable chance. So yeah, leaving that that Yeti alive could yet cost Tiny the game. Not a big mistake, really. I can count the amount of mistakes I've seen Tiny make on one hand, so... Yeah, yeah one of the moors is right in the middle font now, though, because of... Because of uh, I'm not killing the Yeti. It's trapped in the middle front. That's, uh, yeah, probably the time we will keep now. It's... It means the Yeah, he's not going to kill the Pygmies. So, unless he's that not drawn it, or maybe he's not running it. <laughs> yeah, if he's not running it, then he's in the big trouble. If he's just not drawn it, he's unlucky.
sanctuary on it. It's got thirst for battle. Um, That's the best way to approach him when you get a champ like that. Die. Kill the banner and distract them for even longer, or do you reckon it's best to cap the font and get back in the middle font battle? <coughs> well, in a situation like this, it's very short and compared to Tiny. Uh, those pygmies are about to wreak havoc, really. But the Yeti's done now. I'd say he's probably going to put a hard of hard on part of edge, by the pygmy, kill the Wolverine. Yeah, he's uh, 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 stays in the middle font is fucked. Spell anyway, that I don't think that even matters. <laughs> when I cast DC, the last thing I think of is how much lore I'm getting from it. Generally. Yeah, he's like 35 or something. Them pygmies have. <laughs> Size of that fucking glow. But 
Tiny could have won this ten minutes ago if he not forgot to pill for the Phoenix Tanklet, to be honest. And that Yeti's killed like three champs since. Still, I mean, you'd say Tiny's probably going to win anyway, but... Warford got a really good draw. Uh, they've both made a few... Yeah. trouble with targeting the pygmies um, is that they are meant to be targeted you know so all they do is take the damage and do the off bit of damage themselves it's much like when I play my FW and people target the afflicted corpse they think if they kill it they're gonna avoid the explosion great um, they're letting circles and other champs live, so they actually take more damage in the long run. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, no, it was a bird as well. Yeah, and then you just summon it again, so. <laughs> yeah. Especially when it's lumbering, it's not a threat, you know. Pygmy's next to you and it's got 10 AP then, fair enough. Yeah, you can, but... Yeah, That's done. Uh, GG, Tiny Dragon wins. Um, that was Pox United. Uh, check out some more vids soon. Yeah. Let's see if I bitch in the lobby first. <laughs> Doubt it. I think they've gone again for another match. Have they? Gone again. Are we carrying on the card and they're going through this one? <laughs> the rematch begins shortly.